Hello everyone, uh, today I have a problem with uh, the power supply of an old computer that I'm using for running old software. So uh, let's see uh, if it's really a problem with the power supply or maybe there's some other problem. So how to measure this power supply? Uh, maybe you can see here mentions 2006 so it's a bit old but maybe it still works so we need to uh, try and uh, see if it really works so we have here the connector this is the power connector um, what we need is uh, to see if uh, all the appropriate uh, voltages are being supplied so um, in order to do that uh, first we need the pinout I've already uh, downloaded the pinout diagram this is from uh, Wikipedia and uh, as you can see here uh, you have this uh, PS on power supply on uh, and uh, this is actually this uh, green wire here and uh, uh, in order to make this power supply start, uh, you need uh, to place a jumper or some other connector between the green wire and the black wire. Uh, now, uh, I've seen uh, different uh, uh, movies on YouTube where it is suggested to use a paper clip. In uh, my case, I'm going to use a jumper wire that I also use for breadboard projects. And so uh, this is uh, the green wire. It's uh, number four here. If you see here, one, two, three, four. It's uh, number 14 in the diagram. So I'm just inserting one here. And uh, you have to connect it to a ground. On this diagram, it's... Uh, uh, noted as COM from COMMON uh, and it's actually any uh, black wire. I'm uh, just going to place it to the adjacent one uh, which is number 13. Okay, uh, so uh, now uh, in theory it should start but not all power supplies actually do start. I'm uh, just going to try this one and actually it did start. Now uh, if uh, the power supply does not start uh, then you need to place some load. For this purpose I had here uh, a DVD writer, uh, actually it's a CD writer, an old one and uh, you can use uh, any such device or uh, hard drive or anything and you just need to plug it in in order to provide some load for the power supply to start. Okay, so now that uh, we have this done here, uh, we need to measure the voltages. How we do that? I have a multimeter here uh, which must be set to voltmeter and uh, also if we look on the diagram we see it's 3.3 uh, volts uh, 12 volts 5 volts so the maximum is 12 volts so uh, you should place it on uh, 20 volts in uh, my case i will turn it this way and now uh, let's see uh, the probe, the voltmeter probe, uh, does not actually fit in the connector. So again, I've used uh, another jumper wire. I've uh, just attached it to this ground probe uh, with uh, tape. It's just some regular tape. <coughs> and uh, now I can uh, attach it to, uh, to one of the black wires. So, for example, this next one. 
and uh, now we are ready to start uh, measuring the voltage and so uh, I will probably place this one here so we can see it better uh, so we have here Three point three five, so this is good. Three point three five, good. Three point three five minus twelve. Okay, then we have common, so this is ground. We have a uh, five volt. It's actually five point nine, but this is good. Again, ground. Uh, 5.9 again ground 5.89 uh, that's good this is actually a power ok indicator uh, then we have 5.15 this one here uh, should be 12 volts, it's actually 10.65 this one is 5 5 again this one is uh, not connected as you can see there is no uh, wire in there uh, then we have uh, ground ground uh, and uh, this uh, one uh, we've already measured previously, so minus 12 and 3.35. So uh, it looks uh, generally good uh, with this particular pin uh, being only uh, 11 volts instead of 12. Okay, my probe just went out so it's uh, more uh, around 11 than 12 but I guess it should be uh, good uh, and uh, we also have this uh, additional connector here so again we have a black wire well my other jumper uh, went off Okay, started it again so uh, in this other connector uh, we have the black wire which is ground and uh, actually there should be two ground wires here and uh, let's try to measure it as well so again this is the ground And we have 5.86, we have uh, an 11, it should be 12, and 3.35. So I think this should be okay as well. Uh, we also have this connector where again uh, black wires should be ground and so we have we have 12 okay 11 and ground okay so uh, from the looks of it it seems the power supply should be working 
So hopefully now you know how to measure a power supply and hopefully your power supply will also turn out to be okay. So see you next time.